kapatid. This month of April, our theme to our daily devotion is I will trust. Ako'y magtitiwala. To whom we put our trust, our hope? Do we put our trust to a man or to our God? My brothers and sisters, the word for today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 25. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be saved. In this verse, we can see here the warning and the encouragement simultaneously. Warning to not put our trust or our confidence to a man, but I'm not telling you not to trust your neighbor. The difference what I mean is in all aspects of our lives, are we going to put our confidence to our neighbor? Do we need to always put or focus our concern to what other people are saying about us? Sabi nga po sa Good News Translation, this behavior is dangerous. A red flag. Why? If we have this behavior, we become a people pleaser. Nabubuhay na laging may pagkabahala sa magiging opinion ng iba. And this behavior is typical to us human. Na maging mga manampalataya is tumadaan dito. Aminin man natin or hindi. This is dangerous because it affects our faith with God. It may cause us to hold back the real worship to our God. Remember, God created us neither not to live with praises and applauses nor from the approval of the people. Winning the heart of the people is just a bonus when we focus to live with the real purpose of God to us. Remember what Apostle Paul said in Galatians 1.10. The thought of his word is we are God's servants, not a man's. Seek us and always please God. Trust Him. Sabi nga po sa verse 25b, Whoever trusts in the Lord shall be saved. This is a beautiful invitation, a word of encouragement to us to put our confidence in God. God is not like a man na mababasa natin sa Numbers 23.19. A man can discourage and criticize us. They can live and even condemn us. Man can disappoint us sooner or later. A man can betray and deny their neighbors. Remember what Judas and Peter did to our Lord Jesus Christ. Judas betrayed him for the 30 pieces of silver, although that was prophesied already. And Cephas denied Jesus Christ three times, but our God will never do this to us, to those who put their trust in him. God will not condemn us to our mistakes, but he will guide us to find light, the correct path, through his word. Amen? May this word of Proverbs encourage us to put our hope and confidence to the Lord. May God bless us all. Shalom.